Um, this is the last section in this first chapter. This one's a hard one to put your finger on what it is you're actually learning, which always makes it interesting. You're learning uh, in this how to critique data presentation. As a starting point, we should always think about what does that mean, the title, right? Now, I'm pretty sure you know what data presentation is, but let's make sure we know what the word critiquing means. If you are a critic or you're critiquing something, what does that mean? What does it mean? Yep, pointing out the the flaws or the it, is it only pointing out the flaws? What do you think? Suggestions on how to do it better, pointing out not just flaws, but uh, what do you think? Oh, can you either borrow or find a way to solve the problem or go or whatever you need to do? Um, is it, if you're, if, so let's say you're a movie critic, because that's where this word comes from, right? Critic, crit, critiquing, criticize, all those words come from the same stem. If you're a movie critic, you're, you're talking about movies, you're reviewing them, are you always saying bad things about them? No, you're saying good things too, you're saying, you know, you're, you're, you're kind of just evaluating it and, and giving some some information about it one way or the other. So this is the same thing here. This is if you're asked to um, to look at uh, some the way data is presented. The the goal here is um, the the reason that somebody would have put this in a math curriculum, like whoever the uh, people are who decide what it is you need to learn. They would like you to be able to look at the paper at the newspaper or somewhere where you see a graph. They'd like you to be able to not just say, oh, look at this graph. Hey, I'm totally going to buy that stuff because look at the graph without thinking about it. They want you to be able to look at it and say, hey, look how they showed this. That doesn't that doesn't seem like a fair way of showing that. Or do you notice this? And they want you to be able to look at it, look at graphs and not just kind of believe and, you know, without even thinking about it. So that's what this, this section is about is just thinking about how data is pre presented. Is it presented in a fair way? Is there a better way of presenting it? Does it show what it's supposed to show? Does it support if somebody's using it and saying, look at this graph, this is showing that, whatever, uh, it, does it support the point they're trying to make? Originally, I was uh, wanting us to do this explore, but I think what we're going to do is instead of uh, you working on a uh, Instead of you working on it individually, because I think I've I tried it with my other class and they got really hung up on the situation that's involved. So if you can open your textbook to that page, I will do the same here. Uh, I will pause this section. The again to talk about critiquing data presentation. Number one, this becomes difficult because it's a, it's a type of graph you haven't necessarily seen before. Does anybody know what that kind of graph's called? It's not a double bar graph. It's not a bar graph. Well, it's a type of bar graph, but it's a specific type. It is called a stacked bar graph. It's a stacked bar graph. It, 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 what it allows you to show is it allows you to show, well, here's some certain amount of something. And on top of that, it allows you to show kind of a fraction of that. So each of those, that's what that is, right? The things that it shows is it shows, and this is actually topical right now with such a good uh, run of fish going down up the Fraser River. Uh, it's kind of the, the record since quite a while ago. Whoops. Uh, amount of fish going up the Fraser River. If... Uh, if you're looking at this graph, then the other the other problem my other class had with it is they didn't really understand what the word uh, quota meant. Uh, the government ministry that's responsible for fish, fishing and fisheries, sets quotas for fishermen, which which is sort of like saying this is the amount of fish that we think you can catch, and we still won't run out of fish, right? If you know how uh, salmon work, salmon spawn in the river, right? All the little baby fish hatch, 
They live there for a little while. Then they go out down the river, out into the ocean, into the world for about four or five years. And after four or five years, after swimming all over the place, they go back to the exact river that they were born in. It's kind of amazing, actually, when you think about it, that they find their way back to the same river and they spawn there and this keeps going, right? So there's, and so there's a certain group of fish that's from this river. There's a certain group of fish that's from that river. And they don't just go to any old river. So the fish that leave this year... They'll be back in four years, right? So what they do is they, if there's a river where there's lots of fish coming back, they say, it's okay if you fish these out of this river because there's lots of fish, you're not going to hurt it, right? If there's some other river and there's hardly any fish going up, they don't want them to fish there because then you're going to totally wipe it out, right? So that's why they monitor it and, and tell fishermen where they can fish and how much they can fish. So this is what they, what they do by saying, when they set quotas, they say, this is the amount of fish. Now, this is in thousands here. So they might say, in 1995, the, the total quota for every all the fish they could catch was, what does that look like? It's what kind of 210,000 maybe, 210,000. So that's what they set as the quota. Here they might have set 240,000 and so on, right? Now, what this article here, this newspaper article is about is it's how they're how they're setting quotas and how they're deciding. If you have read it, um, it says that they made a change in 2002. And that's what this graph is showing. They are saying DNA testing helps commercial fishers. And they're trying to use this graph to support that point. They're saying that uh, since 2002, they're using DNA testing. Like, how, how do you think they would figure out? Because... If they're trying to set how many fish you're allowed to catch, how do you think they would decide how many fish are actually going? If, if, if they're trying to base it on how many fish are actually going up the river, how do they test it? Do they count every single fish? How do they do it? Any ideas? I mean, one way they can do it is, well, the way they used to do it, which it says here, the way they used to do it is they would catch some fish. They'd put little tags on them. They'd let all the fish go out in the world. They'd come back, and then they catch fish, and they see how many tagged fish are there, right? Like if they know they, it's hard to explain in just off the, you know, top of my head here. But if they catch a bunch of fish, put tags in them, they go. They haven't tagged every fish, but then when all the fish come back and they catch them, they can kind of use a proportion, and they say, look, out of the fish we caught, 10% of them have tags, so this means there's actually this many fish. That's the way they used to do it. It sounds like now what they do is they do DNA testing instead of using these tags. The same sort of way, but using a different system. And I, not to get too far into this, but what they're saying is they changed something right there. And does the graph support that? That's essentially what this explore is about. So some of the questions here are, you know, first of all, how many fish are caught here and, and in, each, in different years and stuff? Um, so that you understand this, this is the quota. This is the amount they actually caught. So that's what that is. It shows a fraction of that, right? So what does it look like is happening? How would you describe what the graph shows before that and after that? What do you think the big... Um, the, the, the government used to put a lot of how many fish you catch. Yep, so they'd say this is the amount, this is the amount. They'd put a... How do those quotas compare to what the quotas are now? Uh, the, the quotas are low or the amount they're catching is low? Like the quota is the, how high that bar is, right? So these look almost higher than to me than the height of these bars, right? A little bit. So the quotas look like they're higher over here. But what about the actual amount they're catching? How do the, how do the amounts they're catching? Look at this. They didn't even catch anything, it looks like. Um, these are lower than these, right? So I think what they're trying to say is this DNA testing that they started after this helps them because the amount they catch matches the quota more than it used to, right? If they're allowed to catch this many fish, they're actually catching that many fish now. Whereas before, they're allowed to catch this many, but they only caught that many. So I think they're saying that this testing helps the fishers catch what they are allowed to catch more. Does the graph support that? I think it does. 
it's maybe not very obvious, but it does. There's a change here, right? Maybe they could have set the graph up a way that it highlighted the fact that this is different here. But, but that's what this section is about, is looking at a graph, thinking about how data is presented. Is it presented in a way that shows what it's supposed to show? That's the idea, okay? Question or comment on this? Yeah, that's sort of weird. I, I'm not quite sure what, what that one's all about, but uh, it is ironic, isn't it? They didn't even, I mean, maybe it's just such a small amount you can't even see it on there, but it doesn't register. But Or something happened, or maybe they set a big quota, but no fish actually came back, or who knows. Um, there's a couple of examples here, and on your sheet you have a space to do some stuff with this example. So if we could talk about that right now, that would be great. Can you, uh, just between the textbook and your and your sheet that you have there, we're going to think about what this is. Can you read through that and read through that and see if you understand what the situation is while I stop this?